You are innocent until proven guilty. Unless you're the Bomars. Here's the problem. Josh comes off like kind of a douchebag. And I can relate because I think there's a lot of similarities in what drives people like us to be on social media. There's a bit of an ego. There's a bit of a, hey, I have something to share with people. But it also means that sometimes just going on a podcast willy-nilly and just kind of free ball in it, thinking that you're going to handle it. What are you trying to accomplish? You're trying to create clarity on what actually happened. And you're trying to recurry favor inside the hunting community. And he may say, that's not what I'm trying to do. And I call bullshit. Of course, that's what you're trying to do. And that makes sense because it's a community that's worth being inside of. Never apologize to a community of people that will never accept your apology. Never attempt to justify why you hunt or why you would use a spear to hunt a black bear. You will never be able to convince somebody who is not a part of the hunting community that, oh, you're right, I I hated hunters and I hated the idea of hunting and now I'm okay and I can accept the fact that for some reason you wanted to kill a bear with a spear. You will never cross that bridge. And a guy like Josh is not articulate enough, which is fine because most of us aren't, to bridge that gap. So why even attempt to do it? I know that he believes that he is misunderstood. I know that he believes that there was so much speculation and there was such a wash of negative media attention. But at the end of the day, going out and doing a podcast and not reading a prepared statement that has been carefully crafted to cover the bases that you want to cover is just seems, why don't you know if you're able to use guns to hunt? Why? That's a really big deal. Like how would that not have been a thing? And I get it. No, I'm a bow hunter, but like I'm a bow hunter, but I have guns and I would want to make a hundred percent positive that my second amendment rights were in no way impeded. Why would you say that you have bad memories or potential bad memories with the small deer, but you wanted the big deer back? Like that, it doesn't jive. And at the same time, I can also understand being like, you know what? If this is going to help us move this along, you guys can have these because they're less important to me than the big ones. Clearly, Josh did not think that it was important enough that he wasn't willing to trade those away as kind of like tokens to the state of here, you can take this. But how do you not properly communicate that and figure out a way to craft that answer a little bit better? They paid a huge fine, like a a six-figure fine as a punishment for what they did. And whether that's excessive or not, I'm not sure. Like, is it fair that somebody would plead to conspiracy of understanding that the facility I'm hunting at, there is baiting and poaching going on here, but I chose to continue to hunt there and I chose to continue to know that that was going on and not say anything, not turn them in and also not to discontinue my relationship there. Is that a $130,000 fine? Evidently, yeah, evidently it is. I don't apologize for being a hunter. I don't apologize for using a bow and an arrow. I wouldn't apologize for using a spear. But I also don't think that I would choose to put an opinion that was out on a podcast over something that was so sensitive that so many people care about in such an unscripted way. Do I think it was reckless? Yes. But if you look at Josh's entire persona... That's part of what is appealing about watching him is whatever drives him to be this giant jacked monster that films every aspect of his life and is 100% driven to create all these products and all these things that they want people to buy and have the body that he has and go on these hunts and to make money and all these things that make him an absolute focused machine is also the reason that he can seem so dismissive 
when it's when he's coming to relating to people like you and me. And I think it does him a disservice to not recognize that about his personality. The things that can make him great can also hinder him because we are the same. All of us have strengths to our personality that in some way present and make us look weak. So how do we move past this thing with the Bomars where people have some really, really strong opinions? The verdict has been handed down. The punishment from the state has been handed down. They have accepted that punishment. And even though they didn't ask me, I see value in them being a part of this community and I accept them. I accept that what they have gone through and have agreed to the restitution with the state, that that is justice. They don't need further condemnation from me. And maybe you feel like from you, you write them off. No, 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 no. We don't need people like that in the community. That's fine too. It's interesting to me that I would even feel compelled to make a video about this, where I, for some reason, am passing judgment on another person. And I, I guess maybe it's just because I do care about the, the hunting community, and maybe I do care about how we're perceived to the people in the middle. I also recognize that Josh and Sarah have been found guilty and have paid the restitution or are in the process of paying that restitution, and I would want forgiveness. So I, for my part, even though they did not ask, I forgive you. Justice has been served in a way that everyone came together and agreed. The prosecutors, the defense, the defendants, the judge. Either we have faith in our system or we don't have faith in the system. And in this case, I choose to have faith in the system and I choose to believe that justice was served on the Bomars. And I choose to accept them into the community. And I choose to believe that people make mistakes. And I choose to believe that people deserve redemption. And I also know if they do it again, they can go f*** <gasps> themselves. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I'm Brandon McDonald.